<laughs> get in front of the camera here hey everybody it's Jeff and this is part 20 of the uh, Hobby Boss GMC Bofors build in 135th scale dedicated to Jim Steen a YouTube friend of ours um, as I've mentioned before there's a number of us building this kit we're all doing it ever slightly so slightly different in our own ways but uh, everybody's doing an amazing job with it uh, I've put links in the description for the other channels that are building uh, go take a look and see what they're doing uh, you'll really be be amazed okay um, didn't get an awful lot done mostly little detail stuff that takes some time let's go down to the bench and I'll show you what I got going on okay be right back all right um, looking at the paint guide here the Bofors is painted in the olive drab with a steel barrel and it's got a little copper ring just right where the barrel meets the main body of the gun okay so that's what I've done okay I'll put pictures up for this um, okay I think it looks pretty good there's a couple of little pieces here that stick up on the top that they've got in black and I'm probably gonna go ahead and touch those up in black just to look right so the gun is pretty much done um, there are four little wing nuts I guess you'd say that go right uh, that they hold this piece on or they look like they hold this piece on I put those on I noticed as I was painting that one of them is gone I'll put a picture up over here of what they look like they are extremely tiny and then there's a couple of little pieces that go back over here on this side that you can't even really see but I put those on and there are a few little bitty like rivets or screw heads uh, in various places and I didn't even mess with those they are like pinhead size they're they're about the size of a period on a typed page I think that's about all there is to those but other than that I think we're in pretty good shape on this of course this will all need some dry brushing and some weathering and that type of stuff okay I also painted up some of the ammunition uh, they give you four of these I painted up three of them but I'll show you two of them here I use the let me grab it real quick uh, it's Mr. Metal Color 219 brass okay I, I really like this paint but you kinda gotta do a, a few extra things to it it needs to go down over a, a gloss black or it's supposed to anyway and after it's dried for a while you can take a cotton bud or a q-tip and you can buff it and uh, make it really nice and shiny if you true if you choose to um, the bad part about that is the paint is pretty delicate and the more you handle it the more comes off so after you're through buffing it you need to clear coat it but it, it really does look nice and I'll put up a few pictures okay so those are good uh, you really only need one for the gun but um, you know I, I the way I look at it is if they give you that many paint them up pick your best and use it on the cab there was the two little catches for the hood that I put on the other day I painted those okay before I forgot let's move this and tail lights if you can see them they're done okay there's a hole here and here and those are re for reflectors okay and I'll be putting those on real soon um, here's the reflectors here I painted the backside in silver 
and then I'll flip it over and I'll retape the back side and I'll spray the front side with clear red and uh, then I'll put them on. I might need to do a little ring around the outside edge with all the drab to make them look right but that's our reflectors. And then uh, one more little thing. The uh, paint call outs or the, the paint sheet here shows white on the bumpers. Uh, they do include a decal to do that with. And I was thinking that's not too difficult to paint. I think it would look a whole lot better. Okay, so I went ahead and painted that. It's a uh, flat white. So I got that all done. I may have painted it just a little bit wider than the than this calls for, but it's even and I think that looks fine. Okay. Um, I've got a few more little things to do. Not a lot and I'll be putting the decals on and clear coating it and and all that kind of stuff, but that was pretty much what I did last night, my evening, my evening's work. Um, today, I have something new to play with. I've been seeing a lot of people using these, and I wanted to give them a try. They're not exactly a colored pencil. They, they're a little softer. I think they've got some clay in them, but, uh, they give you lots and lots of colors for shadows and highlights and all that kind of stuff. So I really don't know much about using them yet. But uh, I'll probably be playing with them most of this afternoon. And I got this to help me out just a little bit. So hopefully after reading through this, I'll have a little bit of a better understanding about how how the the technique is that you should be using to to uh, put these to use alrighty guys um, won't be long now we'll have it pretty well finished up one thing I wanted to mention um, nobody else has said anything but uh, I think it'd be real nice if uh, once everybody gets their kits finished one of us and I'll be happy to do it, if, or Peter can do it, Who, whoever feels like uh, doing it is, is get a little uh, slideshow together and put everybody's build in one slideshow. So if you guys want to contact me and send me a picture when you get finished, I'll be happy to do it. Uh, Peter could do it or, or whatever, I don't really care, but I think it'd be real nice to have all the builds on a little video in one place. So let me know what you guys think. I know it'll be a little while before some of you get finished and there's no rush on it at all. But uh, I think that would be a nice thing is to be for everybody to be able to see our builds all together uh, on one video. All right, I'm going to call it good now. Uh, and uh, I'll get some more done on this and I'll play with my pencils a little bit. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay,